it's Ruthie from Ruthie Gray Mom, and welcome to Instagram Insider Hacks. So easy, your mom can do it. This is the podcast that teaches you how to authentically deliver your message in a non-pushy way. If you want to receive engagement and investment on your Insta time, listen in. And now, here's your host, me, Ruthie Gray. Hello and welcome to episode three of the Instagram Insider Hacks podcast. I just want to take a moment to thank you for listening thus far. And for those of you who have left podcast reviews, I appreciate it. If you're enjoying this show and haven't left the review yet, I'd love for you to consider it. That would mean the world to me. And now let's get going on today's topic imposter syndrome. I thought this was a show about Instagram, you say. What does imposter syndrome have to do with insider hacks? Are you for real right now? Listen, friend, this is the number one struggle keeping many followers from believing in themselves and posting consistently. This one thing has held many excited Instagrammers back for far too long. And today I'm going to share exactly why and give you a super duper boost to carry with you so you can start getting past this hurdle and believe in yourself. Here we go. All right, let's dig into this. Number one reason that you may be struggling with imposter syndrome is because you're afraid to put a stake in the ground. We fear criticism. We all do. I know I, for one, have always struggled with this. And yes, you will be criticized no matter what opinion you stake, but that's no excuse to remain silent. I want you to ask yourself a question right now. Do you feel called to your message? Do you believe in the principle of what you're trying to share? Are you passionate about it? If so, if you feel it down to the tips of your toes, then sister, you need to stop being fearful and get going. Now stay with me here because I know it sounds like I'm preaching and I'm not trying to do that. I am merely giving you the advice that I had to give myself to get going in this online industry. And I had to re-give myself this little speech in order to stop being fearful about podcasting. So stick with me. Number two, you do not have to reveal everything about yourself on social media. Yes, there are creepers and yes, weirdos are out there. Thankfully, they're in the minority and so are trolls. You do need to share some of yourself, however, because everyone's interested in the person behind the account And I'll talk more about how to know what to share in another episode. But for now, if you have opinions you want to keep to yourself, feel free to do that. You don't have to be wide open and share everything. If you're a foster parent and you need to be super careful about what you share, then be careful. If you have a particular routine, habit, or quirk that you don't feel comfortable with people knowing, then don't share it. Yes, social media should be social, but no, you don't have to uh, uncover everything. Number three, you are not the savior of the world, only the medium. Now, whether you're listening to this as a believer or not, I want you to know that I am, and I put my stake in the ground. Here it is. I believe that Jesus loves every soul and came to earth to die for our sins so that we can have peace with God. I believe he rose again on the third day because scripture says so, and I believe he's living in heaven at God's right hand right now because he's interceding for believers there. I believe that scripture is God breathed, but I am not here to force you to believe that too. However, I do believe it's important for me to share this just so you know where I stand and where I'm coming from, and that I believe that Jesus loves you too. 
Now, if you're listening right now and you are a believer, yet you're scared to broadcast your message, know that God didn't call you to be brave, but to obey. That's why he told Joshua over and over again to be strong and courageous in defeating the Canaanites. I honestly don't think Joshua was naturally a brave person. I just think he was obedient. We aren't the savior. We're just the medium. No matter your stance on this, you have a message. You felt called in the first place, whether you have a blog or a product or a book or whatever it is you're trying to do. You feel passionate about sharing this. So you got to get in there and get over yourself and start somewhere. Number four, imperfect people need to hear from imperfect people. Your followers are not perfect, just like you. Who knows what inspiration you could be for someone who's thinking of stepping out in faith, whether in a podcast or writing a book or a blog, just like I just said, or sharing a product or they believe in something they've created. Maybe you're an affiliate for a product that you feel passionate about. Maybe it's helped you. Maybe it's a health product or something like that. I don't care if you're Jasmine Starr. I don't care if you're Jennifer Allwood. I don't even care if you're Lisa Turkhurst. You're flawed. These women know they are flawed. They don't even pretend to be perfect. Yet they've stepped out to broadcast their message. Why? So others can have hope that they can do social media or run a paint store or write an inspirational devotion or have their own business whether it's brick and mortar or online. They've decided to get over themselves to help others, and probably because they wrestled with faults too. In fact, it's because they've wrestled with faults that they're sharing all of this with us. This is why I'm here too, by the way. I know my faults. I know them better than anyone else. I beat myself up a bazillion times throughout my life. I've had to learn to forgive myself and move on in spite of myself, in spite of maybe not doing it perfectly the first time. Actually, I will never do it right the first time or the second time or probably ever. I'm not doing this podcast perfectly either, and I've had to let go and stop retaping over myself. But every time I admit my flaws, my followers become more endeared to me. They say, no way, me too. Stop thinking you need to be perfect because that is not what your followers need from you. They need real. They need you. They need to know it's okay to be imperfect too. Moving on, number five, only you can speak the message like you can. Here's the thing. Listen carefully. I'm going to tell you something I heard years ago when I was trying to fight the call to blog and was scared out of my mind at the thought of my name being on Google. What do I have to say that hasn't already been said, and why would anyone listen to me? Listen, there are one zillion YouTube blogs and social media courses out there on how to run Instagram right now. I am a small fish in a big pond. I have a smaller following than most people who teach on the subject, but I believe in my product my service, and my voice. Because when my followers and when my clients listen to me and follow direction, they connect with their ideal audience member. And they share my message with others who need to hear there is Insta hope. (laughs) I'm here to tell you that if you build your Instagram by engaging with organic followers and present yourself as authentic, your people will love you. Here's what I referred to that I heard years ago when I was telling myself my voice didn't matter. Only you can say it the way you can say it. That's it. There's only one you and you are your brand. Listen, I'm a West Virginia gal with a hick accent. That's okay. It's my roots. I'm embracing. I like to laugh big and share funny things about my family on Instagram. My followers love it. My true followers do, the ones who get me. The rest can move on, and that's fine. 
In fact, it's better. I would rather have a hundred true followers than a thousand fake ones or even 10,000. By the way, when your followers aren't engaged with your content, that plays into the algorithm and it actually hurts your reach. So you really want followers that are engaged anyway. So I share when I mess up, I share my health issues, but I share truth, joy, and encouragement and a whole lot of Instagram tips. This is who I am. Only you can speak your truth like you can. To sum this up, let's go over these points one more time. Number one, don't be afraid to put a stake in the ground. Stand for something or you'll fall for everything. Let people know where you stand and don't be afraid. Number two, you do not have to reveal everything about yourself on social media. There are some things you can keep private. Number three, you're not the savior of the world, only the medium. So use your voice and let it fall where it may. Number four, imperfect people need to hear from imperfect people. We aren't perfect. Why pretend like we are? And number five, Only you can speak the message like you can. There's only one of you. Just like snowflakes, we're all different. And yet there's someone out there waiting to hear what you have to say. So let's get out there and do it. If these podcasts are resonating with you, if you're finding value here, I would love to hear from you. Feel free to drop me a line um, in the DM on Instagram at ruthiegray.mom. But also, just know that I would just love to get a review from you on my podcast. So thanks so much and stay tuned for next week where I'll be interviewing a former client who learned to use Instagram to get her message and her product out there in a non-sleazy, non-salesy way. Find out how and why people are coming to her in the DM for her product. Stay tuned.